Hello, my name is Ramin and uh, I'm a senior developer at uh, Continent Code and today I'm going to show you how you can print list items in SharePoint with a custom list view command set. Um, so if you install this extension in your uh, tenant and you add it as an app in a site collection, you can go to any uh, custom list and if you select an item, you can see this uh, button here, print. And uh, before I uh, choose an existing um, template here, uh, I want to, uh, to show you how you can manage your or create your own template. If you click on these settings, uh, it's going to uh, display this panel so you can see all the templates here and you can edit them or remove them or you can create your own template. Uh, first, we need to give it, a, uh, give it a name, so I'm going to call it PMP Community Demo, and then you can uh, just um, uh, drag and drop your columns uh, from the left side to the right side. If you want to categorize them, you can add sections like, um, for example, Demo section, you can change the back, background color and also the font color and you can add this section to the list and then you can move them uh, whenever you want. You can add more section. Uh, sorry, I don't have a uh, mouse here. I need to use my keypad on a uh, laptop and it's not uh, working really well. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, we have uh, header and footer. Uh, for this, you can use the simple uh, mode here. So you have a, a basic editor here you can use uh, for adding your header and footer. or you can switch to uh, advanced mode and uh, add your uh, custom elements, custom HTML elements, like uh, or whatever you want. And then we have uh, uh, a feature here. So if you turn this on, it's uh, going to escape all the field, all the fields that have uh, no value. So it just uh, escape them from the printing. And after that, as you can see, uh, all the templates are here. And after you close that, you can uh, select the templates uh, here, and you can get uh, this nice uh, uh, UI and. If you click on this print button, you can see you have a header and the content and you can uh, print it. You can also uh, edit the template or you can uh, remove them from here. Uh, as you can see, I use the advanced mode to add this image uh, to the header, so you can basically have any HTML elements uh, on your footer or your header. And uh, this is the demo for how you can use uh, this extension. And uh, in terms of uh, the code, uh, basically this is the extension, and uh, this is uh, it's using React. Uh, I have different components here. Um, basically, this is the uh, settings panel that you can see all the, the templates here. You can uh, modify it, remove or add templates uh, from this component. Uh, this is the 
component for uh, adding a new, adding or updating the templates. So if you are interested in this uh, drag and drop uh, list, you can just uh, open this file and you can uh, see all the data uh, data list here. So uh, it has this drag, drag and drop features here. And also this is a uh, this is a component for, uh, it's like a, a basic editor for a header and footer that are used for this project. So if you add it, you can just uh, have a really basic uh, um, text editor. And uh, also we have a service class here for uh, uh, basically manage uh, the templates, adding templates, uh, getting templates, or uh, all the stuff we need to do with the templates, and also getting the fields uh, for each list because uh, you know we, uh, when you want to add, uh, when, you, when you want to drag and drop the fields, you need to get the fields uh, first. So we need to ignore some of the um, um, default fields like uh, content type, attachments. Uh, this this is uh, that I've done for this. So we. Uh, basically just uh, ignore them when want to uh, display all the fields for the users so they can uh, drag and drop the fields. Uh, and I think that's it. If you have any questions. Uh... That's really cool. Thank you. Uh, really impressive uh, work there, especially on the UI design. That's very uh, slick and very polished. So great, uh, great work there. Great demo. Uh, great to see. So thank you very much. Thank uh, you.